typhoons can pose a threat to lives and property, so the Hong Kong Observatory constantly works to update its forecasting methods. One way of doing that is to fly data collection missions with the government flying service during tropical cyclones. They board a Jetstream 41 fixed-wing aircraft equipped with a measuring system that can collect temperature, humidity, air pressure, wind direction and wind speed data, which helps them better understand what makes a storm tick. Observatory scientific assistant Leung Kwai Kong flew into the eye of the storm when he joined a reconnaissance flight during Typhoon Linfa last month. The aircraft was shaking when we flew near the center of the storm. I've been collecting typhoon data for about five years, but this was the first time I got so close to a typhoon. I felt like I was really doing a service for the Hong Kong people on the front line. For the government pilots, flying into a storm meant going against years of training. Yeah, for a pilot, normally we learn how to avoid the adverse weather, say, thunderstorm or typhoon or heavy rain. We try to avoid it so that we can give a safe flight and also the comfortable flight to the passengers. But for this task, this is not the highest priority to give comfortable flight. We try to get into the weather to get the all the wind data and weather data for the uh, Hong Kong Observatory so that they can uh, study on the more especially on the typhoon or the weather, and so that they can give a better prediction. After the government flying service has upgraded its fleet of aircraft, the observatory plans to install a new system that would enable sensors to be dropped from the plane into the top of a tropical cyclone to measure its vertical profile. The observatory not only looks to the sky to collect weather data, it also enlists the help of 60 locally based voluntary observing ships to study climatic conditions in ocean areas, some of which are equipped with instruments that collect data over the South China Sea. In June this year, a drifter boy fitted with temperature sensors was deployed over the central part of the South China Sea for the first time. The ships will not sail in bad weather or change the route. The boy swept along by ocean currents was able to take air pressure and sea temperature measurements, even in bad weather, and send the data to the observatory every hour via satellite. Mr. Lau added that both the drifter boy and weather balloons allowed the observatory to collect indispensable weather forecasting data over the South China Sea and the surrounding areas, which helped contribute to the region's marine safety. He added that more systems will be installed on the vessels in the future.